Hey everyone, remember the sketches that I made of the bridges along Singapore River? Those sketches have already been published on the newspaper. So today I'm going to talk a bit more about this project. So this is the page that was published in the Straits Times on the 12th of August 2019. The Straits Times is one of the newspapers here in Singapore and I work at the company that publishes the Straits Times. I'm an artist, graphic designer, illustrator, infographic artist at the company. That's my name there. Doing graphic design, creating illustrations is actually my full-time job. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. This is a huge page. This is the first time I have one full page to myself. So I drew all the watercolor sketches. The layout was done by my colleague. So sometimes we would split tasks. So sometimes I may contribute artwork and my colleague would lay out because I'm not that good at laying out pages. This is the sketch of Singapore River drawn on the iPad Pro. I'll show you the sketch later on. Unfortunately for this, I made a mistake. I got the labeling of the bridges wrong. So when it comes to print design, one of the worst mistakes you can make is to make a factual error on print and that's what I did here. It's totally my fault. I should have checked and double checked before it ran to print. So here you see one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually didn't draw one of the bridges here, but I labeled it here. So that's why some of the names it got mixed up. And one of the readers actually emailed the company, emailed the paper. So that's how I got to know about the mistake. So it's totally my fault. I should have been more careful with the labeling. So with maps, you always have to be very careful, especially with the names of the location, the buildings, and also the location itself. So totally my fault. Here. So this is the digital sketch on the iPad. I actually drew this with the help of a reference photo, which is a screenshot from Google Earth. So this is the aerial view of Singapore River. And basically I just traced over the map or the imagery. So this is how it looks. For the print version, the greens, the orange roofs, they were, uh, the colors were removed. So it's just the blue river and the black and white lines. So this is how it looks like with all the colors. Notice for this sketch, I chose to color the river, the greens and the roofs. For some of the buildings, I actually have them transparent so that the river the blue of the river can show through and you can see the river very clearly. So below the map, we have the main sketch. This is Anderson Bridge built in 1910. This is the original sketch. So this sketch was reproduced almost at the same size as the original, but you can see the difference in colors because of the newsprint, which is light gray paper. This is bright white watercolor paper. So the colors, here look more vibrant and obviously the original looks more uh, looks better. This was actually not um, chosen as the main sketch to feature initially because well this was Anderson Bridge. Uh, this is the first sketch that I sketch looking down. So it's not very obvious that this is Anderson Bridge. So the side profile it's more recognizable so that's why um, we went with this and moving down we have Kavana bridge let me show you the original sketch in my sketchbook most of the sketches were drawn on location except for one which i'm going to show you later on so this is the original again i think it looks better because the paper is watercolor paper compared to newsprint. The colors are more vibrant. And there's Elgin Bridge. So this was drawn. This is a rework. I drew the original. Let me show you the original. This is the original, which I felt um, it does it didn't look good enough. So I redrew it and it looks like this. So this was the one that was published. This was drawn at home and the original one was drawn on location. 
So you can see that there's this line here. That's the line from the pitch gutter. And next, there is red bridge. This was drawn on a loose sheet of watercolor paper. So this is the original. I went to this location twice. The first time it rained, so it wasn't. I wasn't able to get the sketch that I wanted. So I went back again on another day to redraw the scene. And this is the scene that I drew. And we have Clemenceau Bridge. This was also drawn on a loose sheet of watercolor paper. This is the original. And this is the published version. So the published version is it's much smaller. It's a bit difficult to see the details. So sometimes when you work with newspaper, uh, space is a constraint. So you do have to scale down most of your work. And lastly, there's Odd Bridge here. Odd Bridge was drawn in the sketchbook. Let me show you the sketch. So this is Red, uh, red Bridge. So this was drawn on a rainy day and I colored this at home because I wasn't able to use color, uh, watercolor because it was raining. Anderson Bridge. This sketch wasn't used because this bridge wasn't that recognizable from this particular angle that I drew from. So this is Odd Bridge. This was drawn from a multi-story car park looking down. And for this particular sketch, I was able to capture three bridges, one and two and three. I cannot remember the name of this bridge. Clemency Bridge, I, I believe. And this was not used. This is a more recent bridge that was built. Uh, I cannot remember exactly the year it was built, but it's more recent compared to these bridges, which are actually more than 100 years old. So this is Robertson Bridge, a more modern looking bridge. You can tell by the arch versus the more um, very simple design. All these bridges, they are quite straight. There are some arches, but it's not like as dynamic as some of the newer bridges that we have here in Singapore. The biggest challenge for this project is actually dealing with the weather while I was out sketching on location. Here in Singapore, the weather is very humid, so it's hot and humid all the time. As much as possible, I try to draw early in the morning or late in the evening. So most of the sketches, if not all, they were drawn late in the evening where the humidity is lower and it's not as hot. The difference between hot and humid climate here in Singapore versus dry and hot places is it's very easy to sweat here. And once you sweat, your clothes and your jeans will become sticky and they won't dry for a few hours. So it's very uncomfortable. Uh, once you start sweating. So that's actually the biggest challenge. When it comes to sketching the bridges, it's actually um, not that challenging. You just really have to sit down, sketch, and really observe what you're drawing and enjoy the moment. So the challenge really is the weather. I didn't draw all the bridges along Singapore River, even though that was my initial goal to do so. So even though the graphics has already been printed on the paper, I am still going to go back and draw all the bridges since I've already drawn more than half the number of bridges. And I want to show you some digital sketches that I have drawn. I actually wanted to go with digital sketches rather than watercolor because it's more convenient to work digitally. But um, after looking at what I have drawn, I still feel that watercolor sketches, they have more charm and I'm not that good with digital illustration. So let me show you this uh, sketch of Carpenter Bridge. This was drawn with Procreate. So with digital sketches, at least for my sketches, the lines, they are very solid, very straight, the colors, very, very clean, very flat sometimes. So there is a very digital look to my digital drawings. I know of iPad, 
artists who can create very traditional looking light illustrations but I'm not at that standard yet so my drawings are very digital looking so this is the watercolor sketch versus the digital look I do prefer the watercolor sketch one advantage with working digitally is you can undo, redo you can do corrections very easily and it's very convenient you don't have to prepare watercolor you don't have to pour water, clean your brushes so this is Anderson Bridge so this is the digital version and this is the watercolor version which I prefer even though this is not uh, the best composition with watercolor you can still see the paper texture you can see the watercolor pigment the different colors that make up the wash but with digital um, it's a bit difficult unless you try and recreate the look so here you can see that my colors they are quite flat even for the grays it's like one single gray wash and this is a darker gray but here with watercolor you can see the color blends within the wash and you can see the beautiful watercolor textures and these are the texture that I tried to create with those splatter brush I think it works uh, it just needs to it just needs more work to make it look a bit more natural because right now the colors they are quite flat let's see what else I have um, I have this sketch as well this is Elgin bridge this is my first sketch of this bridge and this is the second sketch this was run on location so I prefer this of course compared to the digital look and I drew this bridge three times this is the third time and it's on this sketchbook this was drawn with the help of a reference photo and I prefer this because I like the shapes here better the coloring here is also kind of flat you can see the flat colors I, I try to add texture again with the splatter brush or the spray brush let me show you some other sketches that I have all right so this is a bridge uh, that I was working on halfway so it's not completed yet and then I just stopped drawing another good advantage of drawing on the iPad is you can use it to test the composition very quickly so this is a very quick sketch of one of the bridges just to test out the composition here I tried to use a one-point perspective so these are the digital sketches the reason for putting out a page like this with sketches of bridges along Singapore River is actually to coincide with National Day which is on August 9th so that's the day we celebrate the independence of Singapore so this is the page that I put out my colleagues have put out other pages one is on Singapore flag and the other is on the Malayan yeah so I'm quite satisfied with uh, what I have here except for the mistake on the map which I'm going to remember for a very long time so that's the background to this project and to the many Singapore River sketching videos that I have put out over the months which uh, if you haven't watched them do check them out I'll put the links in the video description below all right thanks for watching today's video see you in the next one bye